Hey, Rodney Walker here with MCA Emergency Roadside Assistance. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a transparent image. And what that means is that the image is actually not going to have any type of background. So if you're ever looking to use a logo, as you guys can see right here, I took this MCA logo and put it on a picture of mine. And it does not have a white background, black background or anything. It's just the actual logo. But it actually does come with the white background, which I'll show you right here. So here is the image with the white background. And what I want to teach you guys to do is how to actually take out a background and have just the logo. Okay. Now, many people think that you have to learn some type of Adobe Photoshop or some type of expensive software, but you don't actually. Uh, it's actually free and you can do it right online. You don't even have to download any type of software at all. So I'm going to walk you guys through how to exactly create a transparent image so you guys can use the MCA logo or whatever your other business is or for whatever reason you need an image to be transparent, you can actually have it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open uh, the software. It's a web-based software, so you don't actually have to download anything. All right. You're going to have a, head over to the website pixlr.com. That's P-I-X-L-R.com. Once you get to the website, click on Launch Web App, which is the one to the left, the PixLR Editor. Okay. Now, once the application gets to the screen, you want to go ahead and click on Open Image from Computer and select the actual image that you're going to be working on and then click Open. Okay. We have our image here that we're going to be working on. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to head over to the toolbar, which is on the left hand side and click on where it says wand tool. Once you have the wand tool active, you'll see that the actual cursor will turn into the wand tool. All you want to do is just go ahead and left click on your mouse anywhere on the white background or whatever color background that you're trying to get rid of. I click one time and then you see everything is highlighted. Now, what we want to do again is remove the white background. The next step we want to do is go to edit. Now, keep in mind, you do not want to go to edit in your web browser up here. I'm using Google Chrome. You want to go to edit in the actual web based software. Once you click edit, please go down to where it says invert selection, left click. All right. And then you're going to go back to edit again and then click copy with your left mouse button. As you see, it says copy in the middle and then you're going to go back to edit again and you're going to click paste. Okay. As you guys see, things have changed here. Now what we want to do is come all the way over here to the right hand side. You're going to see a box that says layers In that box. You're going to see where it says layers one and then background. You're going to see a, a key. I'm sorry, a, a, a lock here. And what you want to do is double click on the lock. All right. Once you double click on the lock, you'll see that it'll say layer zero and then it'll have a checkbox. All you want to do is click in the checkbox to remove the check. And there you have it. As you guys see, the background has disappeared. And although we still have some white inside these two O's in the R and the B, what we're going to do is we're going to come back to that and I'm going to show you guys how to remove that also. Once you get the background gone, the next thing you want to do is go over here and click on where it says file and then click on save. I like to use PNG as the full quality. You can use JPEG if you want, but I suggest you use PNG. Left click on PNG and then wait for it and then click on OK and then save it to your desktop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the name of this one to and I'm going to type in underscore trans parent and then I'll click save. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out the software. Click exit. That's going to take me back to the home page, shrink down my window. And I want to show you guys the difference. Now here we have the one with the background. And then here we have the one without the background. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay guys. So as you guys see, we still have some white here in the two O's, the R and the B. I'm going to show you guys how to remove that. 
And actually, what we're going to try to do is, as you guys can see here in the logo that's on my picture, there's some white missing there. I don't know if I'm going to mess with that. Um, that's maybe not be too big of a deal. We'll, work, we'll see if we can get it to go away. Okay, so what we're going to do is open back up the software. Launch web app. And you want to follow these instructions exactly um, the way I'm doing it. Open the image again. Select the one that's transparent. And then what we want to do is we're going to go over here and click on the wand tool again. And then I'm going to take the wand tool and I'm going to put it actually right in the middle of that O and see what happens. Okay, now I just selected the wand tool and I'm going to just hit the delete key on my keyboard. As you guys see, the white removed. I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Delete. Right here in the, in the R. Delete. And then twice over here in the B. Okay. So now you see that all of the white is gone. Now, what I think I want to do is I want to come over here and try to do it here in this R here. And this is the register trade bar of the actual logo. Okay, it disappeared there. And then one more time over here in the C. And then one more time here in the C again. Okay, there you have it. So everything from this logo is exactly the way I want it to be. I wanted all the white to be removed. That way, once I apply this logo to wherever I want, we won't see any white background. One more time, I'm gonna go over here to File, click Save. And what I wanna do is just overwrite the one that I've already used. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. Save, and then I'm gonna replace that one. Let's close out the software. Shrink down. And let's see what happened. And there you have it, guys. Everything has been removed. The logo is exactly the way I want it to be. And that's how you guys create a transparent image directly from uh, the internet without actually having to download the software. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please, if you have any questions, send me an email. You can also um, use hashtag Ask the MCA King on Twitter and uh, Facebook. I'll be checking that out and then I'll go ahead and answer any questions you may have about the MCA Business Opportunity, which is a company that I work for where I've made six figures from home. Um, I've been with this roadside assistance company for two and a half years. It is my full time income, it pays the bills for me and my family. And I think you guys should definitely give it a try. Um, I've got thousands of members on my team and a lot of people are making a lot of money. So please check it out, guys. Um, you can look at my website in the description of this video. And, and if you have any other questions, just email me, call me, or actually use the hashtag AskTheMCAKing. Have a good day.